In the last video, we plotted the orientation of this plunging line with trend 007, plunge 42. Um, and I'm now going to plot a second line, differently oriented, uh, with um, a different trend and plunge. Uh, let's say we'll do 100 degrees and a steeper plunge of 63. Uh, so it's plunging steeply towards the east. Uh, and we are going to measure the angle between these two lines in 3D space. Uh, so the first thing is we need to plot the orientation of this second line. Uh, so we need to rotate our net uh, 100 degrees. So let's take it around. There's 90. Uh, there's 100. Uh, if you ever find your, your net is snapping to a position you don't want it to, you can go back into that view ribbon and turn the guides off temporarily. But uh, we can just leave them on at the moment. Uh, so we, here we are at 100 degrees. Uh, and then I'm going to get hold of my marker, and I'm going to count 63 degrees in from the edge, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, uh, 2, 3 degrees, so just about there. I'm just going to adjust it a little tiny bit. There we go. I'm happy with that now. Um, so there are our uh, two lines plotted. Uh, so to measure the angle between them, uh, we need to get a great circle passing through those two x's. So I'm going to turn my uh, net around, uh, and I'm going to keep going until I get the two of them on the same great circle. Uh, so I would say that's about good. I can zoom in a little bit further if I want to, uh, just to uh, check that they're pretty much on the same great circle. Uh, it looks as if it's about 10, 20, 24 degrees in from the uh, center point of the net. Um, and I can uh, measure degrees by counting along that, uh, that uh, great circle. So I would say I have uh, three degrees along here that gets me from the first x to the first bold line. And this is the easiest way to count degrees. Uh, so that's three degrees, and then 13 to here, uh, 23 to here, 33 to here, 43 to here. 53 to here, and then two more degrees to get us to the second x. Uh, so the angle between these two lines in 3D space is 55 degrees. And I'm going to enter that in uh, here in a text box, 55 degrees. So there you have the angle between two plunging lines.